Hello, I hope this video finds you well during this time of social distancing. Um, we're on the fifth night of my commitment to record one coding bat a night during this time when schools are shut down. Um, what I'm going to do today is something a little different, is I'm going to do the Python and the Java. I figured if I'm doing one, why not do the other? And with that, let's dive in. We're going to do coding bat, Python, warm up one, parrot treble. So we have a loud talking parrot. The hour parameter is the current hour time in the range 0 to 23. We are in trouble if the parrot is talking and the hour is before 7 a.m. or after 20. Return true if we are in trouble. Now I made a statement that's incorrect there. If it's the 24 hour clock, it's before 700 hours or 20 hundred hours. But so before we go on, let's, let's take a look at this problem and let's dissect a couple things here. So the first thing we can kind of look at is this problem tells you the range of hour. And again, in this situation, it's not really going to cause many problems, but this is really important to look in the definition of the problem. We're t the problem's telling you that range has to be between 0 and 23. So there's no need to error check or look for numbers outside that range. The second thing is when you read this, it says before 7 or after 20. And, and so this is a clue to the the actual conditional statement we're going to have to do in a little bit. But before we write the code, let's read the problem, the, the samples. So parrot trouble, true, 6. So talking is true, hour is 6. And sure enough, we're in trouble because the parrot is talking, and 6 is before 7. In the second case, parrot trouble, talking true, hour 7. And we're not in trouble now, because though the parrot is talking, remember, we're only in trouble if it's before 7 or after 20. And the third case, parrot treble false. And how many of you now don't care about this second parameter? A couple of you might have said right away, well, the parrot's not talking, so I'm not in trouble. And that's actually a really important idea where we're going to start this solution. So the, we're going to do this two ways. We're going to do an approach one. And then approach two is going to take approach one and put it into one line. So back here I said, you can look, if the parent's not talking, the parrot's not talking, we know we're not in trouble. And that's where we're going to start. I'm just going to simply say, if talking is equivalent to false, we're going to return false. And this is a nice example of identifying that special case that you can check before getting into any other logic and to get your answer. And though in this case, we're not doing very complex logic, if you're getting into harder problems, if you can figure out the solution with a couple special cases right at the start, that's a good thing to do. Well, now we have to deal with if the parrot's talking. So the question says, if it's before 7 or after 20, we're in trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write an if statement here. So I'm going to say if hour is before 7 or hour is after 20, well, we're in trouble. So we're going to return true. And if we don't return true, we're not in trouble. So we're going to return false. And I think I'm going to have some tabbing issues here. Oh yeah, I'll source them. So let's pull all these back. Tab them once. There we go. And that's it. Now, we can we can clean up this section down here. Let's do that. The observation I have here is that this Boolean expression evaluates to true or false. If it evaluates to true, I return true. If it evaluates to false, I return false. So what I can do is instead of putting an if, I'm just going to return whatever that evaluates to and hit go. And that cleans it up a little bit. Okay, let's comment this out and let's look at approach two. So what approach two is going to do is it's going to do it in one line. And what I want to do is I want to return one Boolean expression that is going to say return true if we're in trouble and false if we're not in trouble. So the question is, what are the situations that need to occur for us to be in trouble? Well, those are that talking has to be true. So we're only in trouble if talking's true. And. So and something else. Well, we're in trouble if talking is true and hour is before 7 or hour is after 20. And there we go. Now, before I kind of wrap up, 
there's a couple really important things to kind of highlight in this process. And this is um, a little bit more knowledge than we need right now, but I want to kind of highlight this idea of this AND statement. And this becomes really important when you start working with lists and strings or arrays and you want to look through them and you're using, you're doing a length check. Remember, if you have an AND operator, this is what's called a short-circuited operator here, meaning that if this evaluates to false, the second part won't get evaluated. And that might seem like not a big deal right now, and it isn't. But I want to say that now, just so you're thinking about that, because this, this fact becomes very useful when we start dealing with checking characters in a string or checking elements in an array, um, where we can put the length check first. With that said, I hope everyone's doing well, and please don't hesitate to send me any questions. Have a great day.